Okay, to solve this kind of problem where it involves the cosine and arc tangent of something, you need to recognize a couple things. Arc tangent of x is always an angle. Okay, this is important because if you don't recognize this portion as an angle, it gets really frustrating for you quickly. So what we do from here is this. We're going to draw a right triangle, okay, and we're going to call this angle theta. If tangent inverse of x is equal to this angle, then that, that's saying that if I'm looking over here, tangent is whatever you're looking at over whatever this leg is. In this right triangle, that gives us the hypotenuse is equal to 1 squared plus x squared. Okay, So if you have this picture in your mind, the above question becomes pretty easy. So originally, what I was given is this, 2 times, uh, this, this is the angle of theta. So you have a 2 theta. Cosine of a 2 theta has identity in that, a couple of representations. But the one that you can use here is this one. Okay, there's a couple other ones, but this one is suffice enough. So from this triangle here, this triangle is a very important one. Let me see if I can put a box around it for us. Okay. So recognizing arc tangent of x as an angle is vital. And from there, you can see that uh, in this triangle here, our sine of theta is going to be x over hypotenuse. Okay, I'm just going to put the uh, radical there, and cosine of this angle becomes 1 over the radical, and the radical being 1 plus x squared. Okay, all right. Now, having achieved those things, the rest are really pretty easy. So we're going to substitute it back in there. Our cosine theta is 1 over radical 1 plus x squared, get this whole thing squared, minus sine is x over radical 1 plus x squared, this whole thing squared. And so from here, what we can do is simplify, and there's one more step left for this one, J minus x squared, 1 plus x squared. And the answer is 1 minus x squared, let me push up a little bit for us, okay, 1 plus x squared. So that's the end. Now, as I was saying earlier, it's very important you recognize tangent arc, when they give you something there, you want to recognize this whole thing is no longer a sine or a cosine or a sine um, trigonometric tr trigonal functions, it's an angle. Okay. Once you recognize this, what you do is you draw the triangle here. Okay. This one is really saying, this whole box, what it's really saying is this. Okay. Tangent inverse of x is equal to this. That's the equivalent of saying tangent of this theta is equal to x, x over 1. Okay. From there, you can see, well, if this angle is theta, tangent of this theta should be x over 1. Since I'm dealing with a right triangle, the hypotenuse therefore becomes 1 plus x squared. And from there, you can do the cosine theta, okay. you can do the sine theta. Those are pretty easy to do, but you've got to follow this process. Do this one first, then recognize this equivalent, and from there, draw your pictures, and then you go get the cosine, sine, theta values. All right? Have a confident day.